The Robert Morris Colonials back in action at the Soul Center against YSU. Karan Abraham back in action as well, making his first start since his suspension. You think this guy was ready to go before the game? Check him out during the game. Here he's going to find his spot from the top of the arc. Three balls good. So good that in fact he'll have two. Wait a second. Karan not done yet. And the foul. Come on. How good is he, Coach Tool? Hey, might have took a quick three once or twice, but you know he kind of has a, a license to do that. And when he's making eight out of twelve from three, we're going to encourage him to do that. Karan Abraham, though, not the only one getting it done. The Colonials have a plethora of guards. Here's Velton Jones connecting deep for three. Velton's been working on his shot, and it came to pay off in this one. Here's Velton again, top of the circle. Everybody's good from there. Velton Jones finished with double digits, as did all five Colonials. And this guy was dropping dimes left and right. Here's freshman Anthony Myers just doing work. Here's a no-look pass inside to Russell Johnson. That one's pure. And here's Myers driving the lane. Are you kidding me? Between two defenders, and that one's good as well. The Colonials take this one easily by a final score of 90 to 60. Here's the team's thoughts on their performance. I don't know how many times we're going to shoot 57, 54. Hopefully we can shoot better than 62 from the free throw line. But, you know, there were still defensive breakdowns. There were still things that we could have improved on defensively. Um, you know, we're searching for that perfect defensive game, and I don't know if it will ever happen. But, you know, we can't let people go on seven point two minute runs and win, win a lot of games. So, uh, defensively, there's still stuff we can improve on. Uh, but offensively, it was, it was pretty good. It was very important because I know I let my team down, and uh, it was time to show and prove it. It's time to get back to the way we play basketball and do the things we do and get back on the winning uh, page. Getting the ball on the wing, driving the ball over, uh, reversing the basketball. It takes a lot of effort. I was probably getting double workouts and just working on my shot and just making sure that tonight I won't have a rusty game. And it worked out for me. A whole lot of extra work. I've been off lately. I've just been trying to get in the gym and shoot more. And then my teammates helping me out with Ant driving, kicking to me, having confidence in me. And the big setting good screens for me. It was a team effort for real. For... To be successful in Division I basketball, you can't just show up and be talented. Because everybody shows up and is talented. Now what are you going to do to prepare yourself to play in a game like tonight or a game like Appalachian State, who's our next opponent? What are you going to do to prepare yourself to play? All the little details, being the gap, uh, help to help all the little things that, that's going to help us be that championship team again. From the Soul Center, this has been Justin Downs with your Colonial Sports Center update.